For us, for example, there are energetic bodies. Tonal. Uh -huh. Tonal comes from tonatiuch, that is the sun. So, so tonal means sun. Uh, no, uh, tonal means who you are awake because in the sun, in the sun yeah. kingdom. Ah, uh, when you're awake in daylight. In daylight. Oh, so tonal is when you're uh, awake in the sun. Yeah, yeah. During the day. Uh, so, for example, now we are doing this this interview yeah. like uh, you are in your tonal, Alan, and I am in my tonal. No, it looks Sergio. like night out there, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but of course, in yeah. night, if if we are if we are sleeping, if we are sleeping, we would be in the nawal, and if we are uh, awake, we would be in the tonal. For us, these are energetic bodies. For example, your tonal is surrounding your your head when you are awake, and your nawal is surrounding your navel. When you're awake. Yeah, when you're awake. But in the moment that you fall asleep, the tonal for us pushes the nawal up, and the nawal comes here. That's why you enter in complete different reality, and the tonal stays here. At your, at your waist, at, at your navel. At, yeah, and at your navel, in this area, when you are fall asleep. Ah. They exchange, they ah. exchange positions. So to become a, a nawal or a lucid dreamer would be that instead of the making this change, just like this, you are able to join them and ah. to become one. That's the Nahual and, the, and tonal the tonal integrate as integrate one. Integrate as one. How do you do that? It's a huge training. For example, for for example, you must change your perception. Tell uh, me, how do you do that? Because I am very interested in cha changing perception. For example, in the tonal, if you see, our perception always goes out. I am not seeing myself now. Because mm -hmm. you're seeing out there. You're I am seeing, seeing you. Out. Yes. I am yes. seeing you. Yes. And I am seeing the camera and all those <laughs> things. Yes. So I cannot see myself. Right. So that's that's a huge problem, a huge task for the perception of the Nawal. Because when you fall asleep, the tonal falls asleep, then the Nawal begins watching the the dream and then that's why you you almost never appear in your dreams. Because ah. one is sleeping, the other is watching. So to force your Nawal to appear in the dreams and the tonal to 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 see the dream, that mm. would be like lucid dreaming, we start the, the training not dreaming. We start that in the mirror. Doing you start the practice of looking in the, the, look the obsidian forcing mirror. Forcing yourself in obsidian mirror or in a common mirror, because this is not the, the training so of the obsidian mirror. So this is to mirror. train to, to see yourself in your dream. Yeah, but first uh, you must train your perception to 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 see yourself. That's why you are in front ah. of a mirror with masks that we ah. call shayaka. Shayaka in Nahuatl is masks. Ah. So you are. Uh, it's it's a it's a very deep training because you are telling your history mm -hmm. uh, with a mask in front of the mirror for hours and hours, a lot of days. Are you recapitulating your history? Yeah, something. It's a kind of. Uh, it's named Quetzalcin in Nahuatl. That means the the great birth. Mm -hmm. So you are like telling your history, but it has like a, a a great purpose because your ego falls down. Because if you see your history with other face, that is like a mask. You don't have like a, any identification between your face and between the one that lived that. Uh -huh. And that's when you are able to dream yourself in different shapes and forms. If you always dream your yourself like you, you will keep repeating the same the same oh, history. Oh, uh, so let me see if I get what you're saying. So part of the practice of this lucid type Nagual dreaming is it to starts awake in the mirror. It starts awake. You look at yourself in a mirror with a mask on, and you tell your story as if this new face was mm. your face, and then you start to identify. Your form with different forms. You start to identify with different forms. So when you show up in the dream, you can change your. Uh, you can you change your you form. Can, you can change your form. And why is that important? Because for there are archetypes. For example, if you appear in the dream like a serpent, if you need a healing, and a lot of people that were sick in the m in the moment that they appear like a serpent, they get healed. Ah. For example, if you need money uh, you 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 have for the tradition the nawal of the crocodile that is sipactly in nawatl is the one that gives money so uh, if you appear as a crocodile yeah so with red eyes <laughs> And with and red eyes. Yeah, that's that comes because, for example, we do the the obsidian mirror training first, also. So in an obsidian mirror, you must be able to, through breathings, alter your state of consciousness to be able to disappear your face. That because we are really nothing. So, 
so and then change the reflection and it changes to a red eyes and then the shape that you want and that's the base of the chacmoles that is are Mayans or the Tetzcatzoncatl that are the ones that are like in the top of the pyramid like like this like in the, their yeah. arms and they are uh, turning this way and this way oh. you were breathing destroying the, uh, the something path. and then yeah and then the dreams that created that and then you turn into the mirror into the water and change your reflection and that would be the way to go to the dreaming state that was the most advanced technique of the ancient mexico